Hello everybody, this is Nairi and this is my new journal that I'm making. So the last one got sold. I've done two signatures in here. I'm not going to do the signatures today with the beading because I've done outside beading before on the channel. So check that out if you want to see. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do some layering for a pocket here. But I want to also edge um, again around the journal. So I've got some really nice lace. I'm going to do that first. So I hope you guys are doing all right and if you've not found me before please subscribe uh, then you'll be able to find me again so I just want to make sure that because I've done some layers here but also I want that to tuck in and I thought what a, you know let's do it with laces so the journal is called under the sea and I've got loads of ephemera that I'm going to be able to use for this journal I'm really excited about it I've got my own kit that I'm going to use do I want it that way or do I want it that way? I've also got under this um, Songs of the Sea from Stamperia that I can use. So I'm really, yeah, really happy. Right, so I'm going to overlap because I kind of want that to wrap around a little bit. But it can't go any higher than those beads, obviously. I think I'm just going to have to get on and do it. I've got other stuff coming as well which is quite mermaidy and glittery but I do feel that you cannot go wrong with a bit of lace so let's get that on yeah so I was very happy when the other journal sold uh, kind of got sold before I needed to list it that's always very nice so it's quite dark today we've got like a stormy thing going on with hail and wind which is a bit scary because we've got scaffolders outside putting scaffolding up and I think they're probably having a bit of a bit of a job to be honest with you. I saw one of the planks nearly come flying off earlier. Um, I think I'm going to have to put it this way, aren't I? I'm just trying to work out if there's a right side or wrong side. I don't think there is. So I'm going to go a little bit more than what I need like that. I can always add extra glue later if I need to but I don't want to go mad with the glue because it does tend to seep through the lace quite a lot. There we go, come across there, do that. So I know I've called this video layered pockets, I didn't include putting um, you know, this bit but when I'm doing a title I don't feel that I can do a massive great title that everybody is reading a whole you know essay on what the video is going to be about so this won't take me too long to do so this journal is four signatures there's another two signatures to go it's a little bit smaller in height than what I normally do but I'm sure it is going to get packed full and be for, I'm just checking all the time that I'm in focus because I've got a completely different camera arrangement set up I've got a nice little shelf above my desk so I can put the things out of the way it's been brilliant I've been doing lots of lives on TikTok with my phone behind me and Elizabeth has been joining me for those so thank you for that Elizabeth and you've been she's been watching me put these signatures in so if you want to find me on TikTok, it's the same name. Um, so I'm not sure at the moment if I want to come all the way in with the lace or just sort of finish it there. I don't know. Let me chop because I can always add another piece of lace on top. I'm not sure if I want to do that. So let me just chop there and stick it around. Okay, because I want to just get rid of this whole corner thing which is annoying me and yes the corner thing's there but it's not that noticeable now so let's put that in there so the kids are off now for Easter um, <clears throat> we've got a little break at the end of next week going up for my new grandson who's not yet here baby shower I have got some glue there and it is going to stick everywhere um, I'm just going to use a little bit of material for the minute 
so looking forward to that looking forward to seeing them just a little break as well which will be nice uh what else really a birthday coming not mine but um i don't want oh okay that won't go on today that's all right yeah birthday coming for one of my sons so that will be good got a busy little busy little break but it's nice to have a few things isn't it that are going to happen when the kids were off otherwise it gets a little bit long and you get a little bit bored let me just see how i feel about that if that wraps around like that i think that looks really quite nice i know that comes down over the journal but it's quite feminine and pretty isn't it so if that can come around there like that and that just finishes off over that netting yeah i chose to do under the sea because of the length of time that it takes for me to get my journals done and by the time i get this one done it is going to be nicer weather and we're going to be edging toward the summer because it's take you know it's going to take me a couple of months i reckon unless i just go at it every day for hours it's going to take a couple of months so that's my thinking get ahead of myself a little bit should be fine like that i do have commissions open on kofi where you can go and request a theme and if you would like to be part a little bit more part of what i do plus be able to get some freebies as well and that's for anybody whether you're a member of my team there on kofi or not there's some freebies for people who just want them there's options to tip and there's options to be members but lots of things go on there kit wise my kits go on there my journals often go on there first and as i say any commission that you might want if you know someone you think might want a journal or you might want one you can see where the price starts at uh, but everything depends on the size of the journal and the amount of time i'm going to put into it i suppose but there is a starting price on there so it is what it is guys it's kind of the amount of work i put in and how i feel about the pricing i guess okay and but even if you wanted something that i don't actually currently have a kit for like this, i've got all my own kits i can make a kit actually if you've got a specific thing that you want well you could have fun making the kit honestly it is absolutely blown a girl outside it's been hailing it was apparently according to my husband snowing in the night and these scaffolders are out there trying to put up scaffolding because we're having um solar panels they're trying to work in this basically storm okay so ooh. i will be putting other stuff down the sides but not this lace probably something more under the sea ish more than likely but let me just get this in place and then we're going to do our pocket layering hopefully you've hung on to the video at this point to see the pocket layering you might be able to hear the rain even you might there we go it doesn't really matter if it's the same front and back because we'll see other things are going to end up on these pages no doubt they'll end up full bits and bobs yeah i think that will look better folded down so let me just do that and i'll come back to you and i'll start the next thing that we need to do all right that was a bit fiddly because my strings were getting all stuck into that glue and that lace and they're all a bit sticky still so i don't want them to get stuck inside these signatures but i think the lace turns up looks great so i'm really happy i've had a go at it try and put them in there for a minute all right so now we can start on the pocket so 
that's a nice effect i think that lace what i'm thinking of doing is making a lovely little pocket here i won't need it to go that high and then we're going to layer it with something that we'll see like so i'm thinking perhaps like that so we might be able to use the art glitter glue for this might not need the fabric tack it should be a little less demanding on the hands i think and then maybe sort of incorporate some of this somehow so that's an idea and i've also got some vellum i actually think that could look really nice as well so i'm going to say get on and do some layering so i'm going to bring this across because we've got an open space there i'm going to bring it across let me just fold that then So if you're a crafter, paper crafter, where do you like to get your supplies from? What's your favourite place to go for supplies? Okay, pop that there. I really like that rope bit there, so I don't really want to cover that up. But I want to see a bit of the um, boat behind, so I'm just going to come down a bit more. And more like that I'm thinking it's a nice big pocket though we can get a lot in there later so let's get the uh, art glitter glue rolling it's quite I just need a little bit more off I think I don't need to cut that I think don't need to cut that and I'm not going to cut this little bit on the side because it's going to allow the pocket to be able to be filled more because we're going to have more space that way i'm going to come up now i'm not i'm going to go down on there i just don't know whether that will actually stick onto the lace without fabric tack it might not we'll give it a go okay i've got lift off now one of those days today that you definitely wouldn't go out so I guess it's nice to do some crafting on days like that isn't it all right let's just ignore what I just did because I wasn't concentrating we don't need that there let's get rid of that and actually I don't think this art glitter glue is sticking very well onto the um, card so I'm going to go the other way around. I'm going to save this situation and put this down the bottom. And this up the side. And put that on there. I think that's fine. Okay, that's the first layer. Now from here on in, we can use the art glitter glue. Let me just check that I'm happy with that. Yeah, just a bit further down there. Kind of looks wonky up there and then I move it and then it's wonky down the bottom, but think it's okay oh we've got fabric tack dripping everywhere right I think obviously I don't want where that glue was to stick down so I'm just gonna pop that really in stop that happening just for a moment then I think that this seahorse is going to look amazing so I'm going to cut that hopefully you can still see it okay I haven't been checking honestly so 
So what I'm thinking is we, go, we could go up here and that will look really pretty. It would mean that you couldn't get a wide tag in there but it would mean you could get some stuff in there. So that's possible, isn't it? And it just looks quite cute like that, doesn't it? So let's do it. Again, not sure if it will stick that well with the uh, art glitter glue, but I can always add the fabric tag if I need to. So that's going on there like that. And press it down, give it a chance to dry. I like that a lot. Then we have this netting which I don't particularly want to cover that. I've got this blob of glue here, look. Oh, I'm just going to get rid of it anyway because I'm going to put stuff on top. So how about we have I do like the effect of it but I didn't want to cover up that really. So I'm just going to go for half. So it looks like a um, fishnet. I think I'm going to go like that. No, I'm not. I'm not going to go like that. I'm just going to cut it down a little bit more. I don't want to lose the seahorse, so I'm going to cut that down a bit more. There we go. I'm going to go like that. Right, this could be fun to stick. We'll see. This will dry clear, so there's no worries. Absolutely no worries at the minute. It doesn't look nice, but it will dry clear, and we'll be able to see that net really well. Let's see if we can get it to just. Seems to be hard to stick. I'm not sure why. Should be paper based, so shouldn't be difficult to stick with art glitter glue, really. Unless it's got something else in it, material based perhaps. Okay, so that's nice. Now I know this is floral again, but I think we could really have something lovely there. So I'm just going to cut a strip this so you can find this bundle of lace this is in it in my Etsy shop if you want some laces there's um, two white laces they're quite thick there's a black one there's this one there's a brown one with florals on it I'm thinking what am I thinking Could be that we go at the top like that. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. I have to cut that there. And then we can still have more embellishment on it, but obviously I'm not at the stage of putting ephemera in. So this is like basic layering in my mind. But on top of that could be tiny little stickers and little labels and stuff like that, which if you hang around on my channel, it might well that, you know, might well be that you see that happening. I'm gonna actually use fabric hat for this, get this all stuck down the way I want it to be. So yeah, there's more work to do on this, but this is like the layering that I wanted to show you. So please subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more of this type of stuff and you like junk journaling, you're definitely in the right place. What I will do though, so don't go yet, is I'll put some little pearls on just because 
we can and it looks like that did not that's strange okay so I'm thinking there's material material in this because otherwise that would have stuck absolutely fine I hope you didn't hear that well you would have heard that that's the thunder as I said we are having a storm so no one is going out today it's quite something and it's very dark so I hope I'm going to be able to get this video lightened enough when I post it so if it's a little on the dark side it's because we're having a major storm right so yes uh, let me just add some, a little bit of bling now because uh, I just want to show you that especially with um, an under the sea journal a bit of bling goes a long way so I'm going to say here is where we could do that so just to be on the safe side, I'm going to add the Fabri-Tac and I'm just going to sprinkle. Okay. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. And there's the thunder again. There is the thunder, guys. I think I better say over and out. And I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.